the homes of the world's richest CEOs. Let's begin with the world's richest CEO. In fact, just the world's richest, period. Jeff Bezos has been the CEO of Amazon since 1996 and is worth around $160 billion. He's the first person to ever surprise the 12-digit mark in terms of net worth. And with that statistic comes a lot of real estate. According to the Land Report magazine, Bezos is the 25th largest land owner in the United States. While the headquarters of his multi-billion dollar, soon-to-be trillion dollar company resides in Seattle, Bezos owns five homes across the land of opportunity he has so emphatically taken advantage of. Bezos owns the largest house in Washington, D.C. This massive 27,000 square foot mansion was once a textile museum and is now going through a $12 million renovation that is essentially combining two separate mansions. The home is one of the many gorgeous residences in the famed Calorama neighborhood. The difference being this home was built with $23 million in cash. Once the renovation is complete, Bezos will be neighbors with the Obamas and the Kushners. For now, Bezos, along with his wife and four children, live in Seattle. But he also has a home in Medina, Washington, that also underwent a hefty renovation to the tune of $28 million. A Beverly Hills home worth $25 million. Three linked apartments in Century Towers above Central Park in New York City worth around $8 million. And to top it all off, he owns about as much land in Texas as anyone. The second richest person on the planet is no longer a CEO, but his time as founder and CEO at Microsoft has made him one of the most recognizable individuals in the world. His house is no different. Like many of the homes highlighted in this video, Gates' colossal home resides in Medina, Washington. This mansion's cutting-edge technologies make it a worthy property of its tech mogul owner. The lakeside mansion is all of 66,000 square feet. It took Gates seven years and $63 million to construct the masterpiece. In 1988, Bill purchased the lot for $2 million, but since the house's construction, its estimated worth is now around $130 million. Inside the high-tech home are top-of-the-line sensor system technologies to provide guests with room climate, lighting, and complete control of all the house's features and appliances. The home has just eight bedrooms, but can serve as a gathering place for the masses. The mansion has 25 bathrooms, six kitchens, and a dining room that can accommodate up to 200 people. The 60-foot swimming pool is heated and is equipped with an underwater music feature. In case that doesn't satisfy the guests' recreational desires, there's also a massive trampoline room. This amazing home is just one of three of Bill's most notable properties. He also owns a massive ranch in Southern California that he bought from fitness icon Jenny Craig. This home sits on 228 acres and was bought for about $18 million. An easy purchase when you're worth over $90 billion. This lot includes a racetrack, guest house, office, veterinarian suite, orchid, and five barns. Along with the ranch, Gates owns a home in Wellington, Florida that he purchased for $8.7 million. Usually, Gates' daughter Jennifer resides in the home, but it's just another option for the multi-billionaire. The third man on the list has made a name for himself and a whole lot of money by having a knack for getting the most out of his investments. In fact, Warren Buffett is so adept at this process that he earned the title of the Oracle of Omaha. For Buffett, his home is no exception to this skill. In 1958, Buffett purchased his 6,570-square-foot Omaha home for just $31,500, and he still lives there today. Now, the property is valued at around $800,000, and in keeping with his reputation of modesty, the home isn't even one of the more expensive homes on the block. A notable distinction considering Buffett is worth just under $90 billion and is third on the list of the most rich. But that's just how the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway rolls. Buffett is currently selling a home in Laguna Beach for $11 million, but don't worry, he didn't break the bank on that either. In 1971, he bought that house for just $150,000. Despite all of his assets, Buffett chooses to live modestly just miles from his office that mirrors the low profile of his home. The fourth CEO on this list is another technology juggernaut and the fifth richest man in the world. 
Mark Zuckerberg, co-creator and CEO of Facebook, and his wife Priscilla live in a quaint $7 million home in Palo Alto. This 5,617 square foot property is adorned with wooden floors, a saltwater pool, banquet-sized dining room, glassed-in sunroom, five bedrooms, and five bathrooms. The house was built way back in 1903, and at first glance, you might start to think Zuckerberg is taking a Warren Buffett approach to spending his millions, but don't worry, this is not the case. The home's luxury shtick is that of Marvel Comics like AI that controls the whole property. Zuckerberg retrofitted the home with a custom-made, artificially intelligent assistant that he even named Jarvis after the likewise character first seen in the Marvel's Iron Man. This cyber butler is a one-of-a-kind technology that took the savvy tech genius years to create. Along with typical billionaire fashion, Mark has also bought $30 million worth of property around his home in Palo Alto, just in case he ever decided not to have any neighbors. Along with his home, he recently bought an off-market property in 2013, which he paid over $10 million. The property, located in Dolores Heights, is spread over an area of 5,542 square feet. He later invested another $1.6 million to renovate the home, to which he added an office, a media room, a half-bathroom, a mud room, a laundry room, a wine room, and a wet bar. He also added a new roof, along with all new landscaping. But the big-ticket real estate item for the Facebook boss is the two land parcels in Kauai that he spent $100 million for. He plans to set up 700 acres of property for extravagant family getaways. These land parcels have a 2,500-square-foot spread of ocean view and an operational organic farm. The plans are to construct a two-bedroom residence along with a 16-bay garage complex. Another modest billionaire CEO is the late Steve Jobs. In his time as the billionaire technological trailblazer of Apple, he also lived in Palo Alto in a 1930s Tudor-style home. This beautiful home sat on half an acre and was all of 5,768 square feet. It includes seven bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms. The home was very much a British country style, fitting beautifully with the rest of this quiet neighborhood, and certainly didn't stand out as the lavish residence of a high-tech mogul. Moving to Oprah Winfrey, more known for being the most successful talk show host of all time than being the CEO of Harpo Productions. Oprah enjoys an incredible, lavish lifestyle. In 2001, Winfrey purchased her 23,000-square-foot Montecito home for a smooth $50 million. The massive mansion is located about six miles from downtown Santa Barbara. In 2014, Winfrey purchased this 8,700-square-foot home in Telluride, Colorado, that she paid $14 million for. In 2016, Oprah purchased a 23-acre horse farm estate for nearly $29 million at an auction. Oprah also purchased 163 acres of property, which sits on the slopes of Mount Haleakala. While I don't have any records indicating how much she spent on the estate, an adjacent property went up for sale in 2016 for about $32 million, so it's safe to say, a lot. This 21st century farmhouse has a wraparound porch with ocean views, a country-style chef's kitchen, a terrace off the master bedroom, and dining space for six. For years since becoming one of the first female billionaires, Oprah has been racking up an incredible collection of million-dollar real estate. Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, and creator of PayPal as well as many other titles, is no stranger to millions of dollars in real estate himself. Musk has a combined 72 million worth of homes around the Los Angeles area. One of these homes was once owned by Gene Wilder, which Musk purchased for $6.75 million. In 2013, he turned that estate into a private school for his six children. As you would expect from Musk from his innovative work at Tesla and SpaceX, all of his homes are fitted with top-of-the-line or even unseen technology. In 2016, Musk paid $24.25 million to buy a new mansion in Los Angeles' exclusive Bel Air neighborhood. Musk's most recent acquisition is his fifth home in the same neighborhood, and he's currently still building it. Combine that with the $48 million he spent on previous homes, and his total real estate dent in the area is around $72 million. 
All the homes are close to each other, giving the tech mogul his own massive compound and an already extremely pricey zip code in the foothills of the Santa Monica Mountains. Larry Ellison, not the CEO but CTO of Oracle, is another familiar billionaire that could not be left out. His home in Woodside, California is modeled after a 16th century Japanese emperor's palace and is promptly worth around $70 million. The 23-acre estate took nine years to design and build, and it was completed in 2004. Clearly a fan of the Japanese culture, Ellison also owns a historic garden villa in Kyoto, Japan, which was reportedly listed for $86 million, though the price he actually paid is unknown. Along with the palace and the garden, he also teamed up with Robert De Niro, film producer Mayor Tepere, and Nobu Matsuhisa, the mastermind behind the Nobu sushi chain, to convert the historic Casa Malibu Inn into a high-end Japanese concept hotel that opened in April. Ellison purchased the property for $20 million in 2007, and rooms now start at around $1,100 a night. Along with his passion for Japan and the real estate he's acquired around the world, he also owns around two dozen properties in Malibu worth millions. At least 10 of these properties are on the famed Carbon Beach. Ellison owns much more in Cali, including a racket club he acquired for just under $7 million. Another CEO that I could not ignore is that of Mukesh Ambani. Ambani is the richest man in India and as of now the 19th richest in the world. I have to mention him in this video because he holds the title of owning the most expensive home in existence. But I've already made an entire video on that one. I'll put the link in the description for you. As always, I'm Mr. Luxury. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Pip pip de doodly doo.